right, so here is the former UFC world title challenger, perennial heavyweight contender type, the Reem, Alistair Overeem. His crowning achievement, really, that K-1 World Grand Prix Championship in kickboxing, still in search of that elusive UFC title. No one expected him to win that kickboxing right. world championship. Right. But he went out there and he beat some of the biggest names in kickboxing history. But once he was back in MMA, he has been a true and absolute savage from becoming the dream world champion, becoming the strike force heavyweight champion. He's done about everything you can do in the sport of mixed martial arts. Of course, he made his UFC debut famously against Brock Lesnar. A lot of the recent wins for the room have come by knockout or TKO. He'll be chasing another highlight here tonight. How about the presence of Alistair Overeem? Ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Kane Velasquez, ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, King Velasquez. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so as many of you know, UFC back in the trenches in Abu Dhabi here tonight. We are inside the beautiful Eddie Hot Arena where a lot of UFC history is already taking place. It's crazy how quickly this has become a destination for big fights. From Habib retiring, Makachev's championship, to Poirier beat uh, Conor McGregor. What an arena and what a destination Eddie Hot Arena has become for the UFC. And he connects with the punch there. Oh, big elbow. Like that. Down there by the champion. Oh, he heard the Alright, so there it is. First takedown attempt by the wrestler, and the kickboxer is able to stay upright. So I know it's early, but potentially a significant moment right now. A huge moment for him. Just to gain the knowledge that if I need to, I can defend effectively, even though he believed that he was gonna take me down over and over again. This is massive. Now he gets to fight where he's comfortable. Careful here. Just over three minutes to go now. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard, 
What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Overeem gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a... Every single kick. Oh. Takedown defense is there. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you do worse than watching a film on this. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kicks. Takedown. Back to the feet now. Nice combination by the champ. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. He loaded up there on that high kick. Overeem gets caught by that straight punch there. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. They're staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He's taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Oh, there is a hands, and maybe time to get the bonus check set. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has so the crowd voicing it's a... Ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. All right. Round two. Throwing that jab, no good. Overeem's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Just misses with the jab there. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Block that punch. Oh, oh God, I keep pressing here. Nice leg kick. Oh, big shots getting through. Oh, nice jab there by the ream. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other team. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. The fight stats quite a where that came from, but thus far 60 total strikes have landed for Cardio Kane Valencia. And striking at a 63% clip tonight against the ring. Overeem's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Man, oh, another crushing leg kick. Man, that one left him. He is throwing his hip into every one of these kicks, and it is taking an effect on his opponent. Oh, nice jab. That's what a fun fight between two guys that only focus on offense. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to taking on very early in fights. Guillotine jump! That guillotine is tight! Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, another shot in the group. Doctor might have to step in soon. Oh, eight touch, eight touch. Beautiful land there by Alistair Overeem. Continues to cross train at different places. Finished up this training camp at team elevation there under Elliott Marshall and Paul. Stuffs the tip. Oh, picks him up, oh, he's DC! Him up. He's got him up. Great wow. oh, shot. Beautiful shot. This was Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent on B Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, is that a massive knee to the head? Could be in trouble here. Oh, landing some big shots, too. Oh, there it is again. Look at that. Good run. 
Right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, so the round is over, and the cut on the bridge of his nose continuing to be a factor. You thought maybe it was getting better, not so much. Blood trickling down, and when the blood starts to trickle down into the mouth and upset the breathing pattern, that's when it starts to... You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this chip. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Hurt again. Wow, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this after that? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not gonna win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop him. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. You need to fight back. For certain. Oh, and there it is. oh my god! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Kane Velasquez. Well, those who tried to bury Cain Velazquez, you've got to say that was a premature assessment after this performance here tonight. Massive victory for Cardio Cain, the former two-time UFC heavyweight champion, and still a guy who many believe is the greatest heavyweight in UFC history. He showed you that prime form here tonight. Now let's see if Cain gets a crack at the belt that he twice held.